Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you so much for tuning in. So if you haven't guessed it, we are talking Tumblr tags today. This is going to be a super fun tutorial, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So these Tumblr tags are quickly becoming extremely popular. So I found some really cute shapes from Zindi and I wanted to do the ghost shaped one for Halloween, but I wanted to do something a little bit different than just um, glitter and vinyl. So we are also going to rhinestone the backside so it can be multi-purpose. You can put it on one side or turn it on the other. So let's go ahead. This is one that I made for my daughter and I will quickly show the process for that one as well. The first thing that you need to do is to sand your acrylic blank. They, most of the acrylic blanks will come with some sort of film, protective film over top of them. You'll want to peel that off, sand them down, wipe them down with some 91% rubbing alcohol, and I prefer to use a coffee filter. You can use whatever type of lint-free rag or towel that you'd like. Um, and then you're ready to go ahead and place your epoxy and your glitter. So I like to use super fine glitter and mix that in with my UV resin because I have had better results with the fine glitters versus the chunky glitters. But again, if you want to use a chunky and it turns out great for you, that's wonderful. I'm not saying it can't be done. It's just for me, I get better results with the finer glitters. So, and then you're just going to spread this on as if you were frosting a cookie. So you're, you'll want to use some sort of flat surface, a popsicle stick, a silicone spreader, a butter knife, whatever that you have, and just go to the edges without letting it pour over. If it does spill over, just try to wipe that off with your glove um, or a small alcohol wipe or something like that. But, um, and then of course, just stick it under your UV light and let it cure. They're super fun to make and you can get really creative with them. You can mix your glitters and make different designs. So super cute, super fun. And as I mentioned, they are increasingly becoming popular. So I wanted to share the ones I did with you guys. And so I'm going to go ahead and let this play through so that you can see the rest of the process. And now here is the ghost tag. This is for 20 to 30 ounce tumbler and we're going to go ahead and just peel the paper off so that we can reveal the acrylic and get that sanded. Once we have the blank sanded then we're going to go ahead and mix in our glitter with our UV resin and I believe I used about five milliliters of UV resin. So 
I don't like to have a really thick coat on my first coat of, of resin because I plan on putting some vinyl on this side and then adding another coat of UV resin. And I just don't want it to be too thick. So I think five milliliters is what I used. And I may not have used that whole five milliliters. But the thing is, when you put glitter in with UV resin, it will sort of soak up a lot of that resin. So I believe that's why I had to wound, wind up using five milliliters because of the glitter. It just makes it thick and soaks up the, the resin. So, so once it is cured, I'm going to go ahead and flip the ghost over to the opposite side. We're going to remove that protective covering, sand it down just as we did on the other side. And we are going to use some liquid fusion to adhere our rhinestones. Now I got these rhinestones from Planet Rhinestone. And of course, I'll have everything linked for you below. And we're just going to go ahead and go around the outside of the ghost and continue on until we have our ghost all completely filled in. So, so I'm going to go ahead and let this play through so that you can see the process.
Okay, so now that our rhinestones have dried, I'm just checking to make sure that the straw is going to fit through. And I still have the straw in the plastic because I don't like for them to lay around unopened for debris and whatnot to get on them. And then we're just going to put some vinyl lettering on the back side here. But before we do that, I'm just going to go ahead and stick this on the tumbler as well to be sure that it fits nice and secure and, and all that. So let's go ahead and check that out. And it does, it fits perfect. Even with the rhinestones on there, it fits great. So we're gonna go ahead and add some vinyl lettering. And I just thought, since this is a ghost, that boo would be cute, but then I took it a step further and decided to make it boo G. So thought that was kind of cute and a play on words as you probably have heard in a previous video. I love to do a play on words. So we're going to add that and then just one final coat of UV resin and these tumbler tags are complete. Hope you guys enjoyed this tumblr tag tutorial if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave those in the comment section below and as always i will have everything linked and listed for you in case you want to check out any of these products for yourself and as always i so appreciate you watching my videos thank you so very much and i hope everyone has a blessed day